Welcome everyone, join me today as I style the mantle in the area above our stove top. Stay tuned. I'm gonna start up on the top, not, not the mantle, not that. I'm gonna do up there. So I prepared this board here with this piece of garland on it and it will be up and tucked away so I won't have to be afraid that all these little needles are gonna fall out while it's over the stove. But while I get it up there, there's gonna be a bazillion needles everywhere. And I think I'm gonna use those leaves up there because it just carries the same thought through the family room and the kitchen and the library, which are all attached to one another, all have the same kind of coloring. So you see, it's a neat trick. It fits right in there and it's nice and sturdy in there. Did you catch that I'd use a recurring theme? How many boards have you seen me use this season already? All right, so I've stuck the picks into the garland. Do you see why I use the garland so much? It's just so easy. It, it It's like a really good base for all of this kind of stuff that it won't move around and it stays where you want it. After contemplating so long what I was going to put up there, I finally decided that I'm going to put two candles up there. And you can see I have them in a tentative place. Then to carry out that theme of the wicker that I have in these rooms, I added in these two wicker chargers just for texture. And I have this nice uh, elongated wicker basket that fits and gets tucked in just right up into that mantle. Now I'm going to be using the toothpick trick that I'm going to use the toothpicks to hold these pumpkins where I want them. And I'm just layering in some pumpkins and some grapes and I'm going to make it look a little bit like a harvest. And again, if you know me, you know I've been using that recurring theme throughout. And I moved the candle over and the wicker in so I could attach the pumpkin to it. I actually had to use a Ziploc tie to hold the pumpkin because it didn't want to sit up there. And now I'm going to add pine cones for texture. And here it is. so much for stopping by today. I'll be back with another one coming up really shortly. Okay, buddy, you take care. Bye-bye.